I love hunting cuter. So today we're gonna zone in on the Spanish mackerel. We call them cuter. Let's check it out. Back home, they're one of the most popular fish to hunt and definitely one of my favorites. The first question I want to answer is which gun I would use to hunt this species. When I hunt in clean water, I like to use a 1-3 rail gun, like this carbon gun, extremely accurate and reliable. When the water gets murky, you can get really close to the fish. And a 1-2 reel gun, like this one here, is a firm favorite with the guys on the Natal coast. When the water gets really clean, I like to use a 1-4 rail gun. It just gives me that extra power and range that I need. If you don't have the luxury of choice, you can't go wrong with a 1-3 rail gun. The really cool thing about Kuta is that they can get really inquisitive and there's many ways you can pull them in. One of the ways you can pull them in is using a flasher. There's different types of flashers, noisy ones and quiet ones. Different days will determine what kind of flasher you will use. Your noisy flashes rely on sound and vibration and your quieter ones rely purely on reflection. I like to use a combination of both, one that reflects really well and I have a small rattler on the bottom that generates a mild sound. Spend time experimenting with your flashes. You'll be amazed at how the fish respond to it. If you consistently want to shoot big fish, Noise and flashes work well, but setting up a birdie tray will definitely give you that edge. We like to use every part of our fish, so after filleting them, we chop up the carcasses and use that for our birdie. Put it in a cray bag and just give it a shake every once in a while. Laying a birdie trail has got to be one of the most effective ways of bringing fish onto your flasher. Just like any form of hunting, your different species will determine your shot placement. Take time with your shot placement. You'll be amazed at your success rate. Guys like to shoot cuter in different places. The safest shot, I believe, is between the dorsal fin and the anal fin. There are a lot of bones between the dorsal and the anal fin, and there's a lot of skin sinew in that area, so you'll always get a holding shot. When you see a cuter, the coolest thing is that you actually can chase this fish. One of the most critical things in this is getting to the level of the fish. Once at the level of the fish, keep chasing behind the fish. You'll be amazed at how inquisitive these fish are. Swim into its blind spot and they'll turn to give you that opportunity for that shot placement. When landing a cooter, watch out, they've got nasty teeth. Grab the tail, slide your hand up, get those gills, and you've got your fish. So good luck with all your cooter hunting. Go get that big one.